Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM as Summer Under the Stars continues. Each day in August is devoted to a different star. We began with Betty Davis three weeks ago. Up next, a contemporary and another of the year's defining actresses, Katherine Hepburn. We've been bringing you Hepburn pictures since early this morning, and up next we have her opposite her favorite leading man, Spencer Tracy. This is a lighthearted romantic comedy with something serious to say about the clash in corporate America between artificial intelligence and humanity. From MGM in 1957, Desk Set. Tracy and Hepburn had long, prolific, and substantive careers playing drama, comedy, adventure, you name it. Between them, they earned 21 Oscar nominations and six Academy Awards. Talking about them together makes sense. For close to 25 years, their love affair made them a unique power couple in the business. They never married because Tracy was already married. Though the public never heard about their relationship, it was a widely known secret in Hollywood. But the primary reason for thinking of Tracy and Hepburn as a unit is that they made nine films together, all of them worthwhile, some of them brilliant, and this, I think, is my favorite. At least it is today. Desk Set is the eighth of the nine and the last one for a decade. Their final pairing came in 1967, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. In Desk Set, Spencer Tracy stars as an efficiency expert brought in to cut costs at a TV network. His solution is one that plagues workers with good jobs across the globe, technology. In particular, Tracy plans to downsize the research department and its staff of four women. And you know, downsize is polite corporate speak for fire. Tracy's plan is to replace the research team with a machine, a cutting edge computer. And who heads the research department? That's right, Hepburn. They fight, but there's more than a little magic between them, as was always the case. And as was also the case in their movies, they're bolstered here by an outstanding supporting cast led by Joan Blondell and Gig Young. This is a noteworthy Tracy Hepburn film for another reason. It's the first time the public saw them in color. From 1957, directed by Walter Lang, with a screenplay by Henry and Phoebe Efron, Nora's parents, Desk Set. Desk Set marked Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy's eighth movie together, and Tracy was sure it would be their last. He was 56 years old, and he felt older. Years of hard living, defined by hard drinking, had taken a toll on Tracy's health. Certainly felt too old to play in romantic comedies at one point saying to Hepburn, who's going to want to hire us after this? Of course, we now know Tracy was mistaken. The pair reunited on screen one final time a decade later for director Stanley Kramer's 1967 film, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? That was Spencer Tracy's final role. For Catherine Hepburn, 60 years old when she made Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, it wasn't even her final Oscar winning role. She followed up her Best Actress Academy Award for that film with another a year later, A Lion in Winter, and that's a film we have coming up later tonight. She won again 13 years after that at the age of 74 for On Golden Pond from 1981. Up next, more Katherine Hepburn. She stars opposite Burt Lancaster in a drama from 1956.